Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com and welcome to this free mini song lesson where today I'm going to be showing you how to play the song Wishing Well by Terence Trent Darby, drums by Unknown. I checked out on Wikipedia and there were like three drummers on this album, including, well, not including four drummers, including Terence himself who also plays drums. So uh, I don't know who played drums on this, but there is a lot of electronic stuff being programmed over the top as we'll see. So it's, it's not really a, a, an actual drummer playing this. I think the actual main drum big groove is, but the bits on top, the embellishments, are programmed. But we'll talk about that as we get to it. I've got one page of PDF notation for you to download for free from my website showing you the main grooves, the main fills, the main little licks um, from the song. So have these put it out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. And I've got to say, I, I do love this song. This is a, a completely forgotten about it. It's, it's um, a, a classic from my childhood. Uh, and it always felt like there was two songs to me. Like the, the, you've got the verse parts, which is sort of moody, sort of very princey kind of feel to it. And then the chorus is sort of a little bit clowny, circusy, which I love. The melody's brilliant. But it always felt like two songs to me, sort of just moulded together. Of course, it works brilliantly. Anyway, enough of being lamenting about that song. So we start off with at zero seconds with the drum beat coming in. And the main drum beat is the first of the two bars I've got here on the chart for you. It's this. One and two and three and a four and one. So it's that little bass drum on the uh of three, which some drummers might find tricky in between the hi-hats. Three and a four and. So make sure you get that bass drum falling in between the hi-hat. One and two and three and a four and a four and one. That's our main drum beat. The second bar shows literally the second bar of the song with our first sort of hi-hat embellishment. Uh, and like I said, I'm 99% sure that these were electronic uh, overdubs. Um, they, they sound very electronic to me. So um, it's sort of a case of how would you replicate it if you wanted to sort of replicate the album. So we actually get a very clear set of 16th here, sixteenths here at the uh, at middle of the bar. We get one and two and three and a four. Now I think on the recording, you actually get an extra hi-hat on beat four as well. Sort of proving my point that it's, it's electronic because uh, no drummer can play. Well, you could probably play at this tempo, but it's very hard to play it one-handed. Um, most drummers would play this double-handed. So you actually end up leaving out the hi-hat on beat four, three, E, and go four. And that bass drum on the earth that fell in between the hi-hats in the previous bar now falls with the left hand, three, E, and the four. And we just go back to normal eighth notes after that. So the second bar, one and two and three e and a four and one and two and three e and a four and one. Let's put both those bars together a bit faster. One and two and three a four and one and two and three e and a four and one and two three. Let's be up a bit. One and two and three e and a four and one three a four and one and two and three. Tricky bit there. Anyway, let's 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 um, hear those two bars played up to speed round a few times. Here we go. So at 25 seconds, we get um, a, an effect being applied to the hi-hat part. It sounds like it's an echo effect, um, but in order to replicate that echo effect, you end up having to play um, 16th notes on beats two and four. So it's the same drum beat as before, except on beats two and four, we've got two E and, and then four E and. This is the only time in the song this, this, uh, this, this drum beat occurs at 25 seconds, roughly. It goes on for eight bars or so, and we get this effect. One and two E and three and a four E and one. So it's a four E and the hi hat meets the bass drum at the end. Four E and one, two E and three, four E and one, two E and three, four E and one. Now, if you wanted to, you could play like a double handed thing. 
I'm playing right, left, right, back. Of course, you don't get that hi-hat falling with the snare drum and, uh, on two and four, but you could do it that way if you wanted to. Anyway, let's hear that drum beat played uh, without me yakking over the top a few times in a row. Here we go. So then we come to the chorus at 1 minute 02, um, and the drum beat continues, but in the second bar, uh, you can see every two bars we get these really cool open hi-hats, opening on 3 and beat 4. So opening on 3, closing on the and, opening on beat 4, closing on the and. The tricky bit is to play the bass drums underneath it, especially that bass drum that falls um, in between the hi-hats. It can be a little bit tricky when you've got multiple limbs playing different things. So let's go straight to that second bar, and I'll try and play it slowly for you. We get one and two and three and a four and one. Three and a four and one. One, two, three and a four and one. Two, three and a four and one. Miss the hi hat like that. Three and a four and one. Two, three, four and one. It's a really nice idea, it goes really well with the music. It's a two bar pattern though, so one, two, three, four, and one, two. And let's hear that a few times up to speed. So then finally at 1 minute 16, we get the last sort of obvious little uh, hi-hat embellishment that occurs in the song. That happens a couple of times uh, in the choruses. Uh, the first bar, again, it, it's, the, it's, it's a two-bar groove with the three, a four round at the end. But on the and of beat two in that second bar, we get this little flurry of 16, well, 30 second notes in this case. And I slowed it right down, and it sort of stands in between triplets and 30 second notes. I couldn't quite work out what subdivision it was meant to be. Which is, it sounds silly, isn't it? It should be obvious when you slow it down, but even slowed down, I couldn't really work out what subdivision it's supposed to be. It's sort of 30 second notes, it's sort of 16th note triplets. If you play 16th note triplets, it sounds too f slow. 30 second notes sounds too fast. So I've written it as 30 second notes because I think that's closer to what it actually is. Uh, but I'll show you in a second how you can play it as the simpler uh, triplets instead. So we just get one and two and. So if we're counting one the yander for the and and the er, we're playing two notes per sixteenth note counted and uh, two. Right, left, right, left, snare. You've got to come straight down to that snare drum on beat two. Now you'll look less awkward than me because your hi-hat will be over here. I have to sort of get out of the way of my left hand because of my setup, but um, I can sort of still play it. But it's just a bit dangerous. I've always scared of hitting my thumb, which I've done a few times, and boy, oh boy, does it hurt. Uh, especially this this, this uh, speed and power. So one and two and, that's, that's the lick there. One and two and, one and two and three, four and, one and two and three, four and. So even at that slow tempo, it's quite fast. Let me create a two bar loop for you. One, two, three, and one, three, a four, and one, and two, and three, a four, and one, and two, and three, a four, and one, two, three, one, three, that was a bit sloppy. One, two, three, a four, and one. That was better. I'm trying to come off it. If you delay that snare drum, it sounds a bit sloppy. So that is quite tricky, tricky to play, and it's not essential for the song. So you could play it as 60th note triplets instead, where I'm playing, uh, starting on the same point, the and a beat one, one and two. The sticking now is right, left, right, left. I'm playing three notes up here, not four. And two. So it's just right, left, right, left. You could play left, right, left, right if you wanted to, but I don't see why you would. Um, you're sort of leading with your right hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and. So let's hear that a few times before I play uh, up to speed. One and two, three, four and one. Uh, one and two and that's better. Keep all these mistakes in to show how rubbish I am. Three, four and one, two, three, four and one. Three, four and one, two, three, four and one. So that 
might work just as well. I hesitated. But let's do a two bar um, example or one bar. Anyway, that's my excuse that way. So uh, let me now play for you what I've written on the notation as the 32nd note version, up to speed without me talking over the top so we can hear just the drums. Here we go. So I hope you had fun with that. Uh, if you've got any questions, email me robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download the free PDF notation that came with this lesson. The link is beneath this video. If you've got any song suggestions you might want to make, then please go over to my Facebook page. I literally just um, posted a new song request post yesterday evening, and you'll see it pinned to the top of my Facebook page. Um, and then if you type in your song suggestions beneath that, others get to vote on them, and the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was today. Um, and then while you're at my website, or visit my website, drumsaword.com, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for $97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's over 500 full song lessons where I teach you a song from start to finish, every single bar, you get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. And like this lesson where I just show you the May parts in my full song lessons, like I say, you get every single bar. And I've got over 500 famous and popular full video song lessons up on the website already. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even solos. I give you three ebooks I've, I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. Excuse me. And then over the year of your uh, your subscription, sorry, <laughs> over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload to my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, doodle pip, and happy drumming to you. <laughs>